hey guys so our next interesting topic is regular expression why i am saying interesting when many people would like to really skip this topic actually this is the easiest topic and the simplest topic and i don't understand why one has to really skip it to the end no no this is the easiest one let me tell you why i am saying this is the most easiest topic so let's get started now before we have to learn regular expression let's understand why one has to learn is it some relevance in your exam yes if you look at the practice test it tells you there could be also questions around regular expressions and this kind of questions okay you need to how do you have to configure the regular expression so before we answer this question we must have a good idea about regular expression and this is the most easiest topic believe me or not so let's get started the first thing i want you to do is to drag and drop this three activities one is the ease match activity okay drag and drop and then the next activity is matches activity drag and drop and the third is the replace activity simply type it here okay you will get it so simply if you type ease match so this is part of your system activities so uh, by default it will be there simply drag and drop okay this three activities has got something in common that is called configure regular expression so you don't have to write or remember any regular expression codes to write it so it's quite easy you don't have to remember anything it's quite easy to use so let's start with the first one okay is match that means it is going to check is there a match or not for example you are providing a string so you want to see in that entire string if there is an email address or not okay in that entire string if there is a phone number or not in the entire string if this format is maintained or not so something like that so uh, let me start with a simple example okay so is match okay so what i will do this is the input okay this is the input where it, you can provide a direct string or you can provide a variable so here i am providing a variable called input string okay so in the input string what we will do create a variable like this and in the input string let's do something like this okay what we are going to write my email address is abc at the rate abc test.com something like that i'm giving some example so this is this becomes our input string let's say i want to see in that string if there is an email address available or not what i want to see if there is an email address available or not so what i will do i am going to pass this as an input string hit on the configure regular expression and it's so easy it's so easy so what i am going to do i am going to simply select there is a drop down email so it is going to find out if there is an email there or not for example what i have written my something like that i have written it my email you can check it here okay this is this is for you to test it my address is um, abc what did i write abc test.com test.com so if i am writing you can see because of this expression and entire expression i don't have to remember simply have to drag and drop it is automatically selecting hey in this sentence there is a email address getting it so how this is working i am going to talk about another example okay um, so i am i have created a variable called each match and if there is a match it's going to return boolean value true or false yes there is a match yes there is an email address or there is not an email address okay so for this let's use a message box just to view that output it's very simple and then here i am using that result variable is match and it's going to show me the output so if i am going to before i run let me disable these two activities that's why i have kept it disabled and let's run it okay now if i run it say input string i have provided from in the variable panel uh, the from the default panel uh, what is the what is the error value or required activity argument pattern was not supplied okay so let's see that the pattern has not been supplied so let's rectify that okay 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 auto hide let's talk now okay doc this one uh, generally bothers me this particular window you know anyways so let's see um, so was it what what exactly it's saying oh, i did not save it see that's that's the problem so i should select email um not url i should select email and then i need to hit on save okay that's where it will find it so now debug it okay so 
in our input string in the variable panel we have provided the input right so it is going to check that if in that input if there is an email address or not i'll give you one more example which would be useful let's first understand this so i'm not writing any expressions i don't have to remember anything simply configure the wizard and done okay so it has done the check and let's see the output so it must say true right because there, there is a so it is saying true getting it so if you remove that email address it will say false okay this much we have understood now let's get a little more practical on the same activity on the each match activity i am going to do few more things let's say there is a dump of um, different tickets okay tkt 1 2 3 tkt 1 2 3 4 5 from that entire dump how do you uh, you know uh, identify if there are proper tickets or not okay so for example so the, the proper activity would be match okay so this one we have seen let's apply the same thing in this one so let me enable it so i'm using the matches activity now okay now in the matches activity what i will do uh, in the input string right so let me delete everything and uh, i will think of an example let's say input string i'm passing it over here and there's an output variable you can create let's uh, try to understand the configure wizard let's say there's a text and inside that text um, block of text okay so in that text there, there are certain words called ticket 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 tkt one two three four five six let's say there's one ticket like this two three four five six okay now tkt then let's say one two three there's one another ticket like this there's tkt there's ticket like one and there's another one zero okay so here from the block of uh, dump of the strings i would like to identify any ticket uh, which is uh, which is a proper ticket a proper ticket should have minimum let's say there is a rule a proper ticket should have minimum one or more numbers after tkt so how do i how do i define the regular expression first is literal literal means any any um, literal means literally the word okay so here i am saying tkt hyphen so this is the literal word so what would happen it has highlighted tkt hyphen in the entire string wherever it is there okay exactly once so if there are multiple times you can say two three something like that so here exactly once so it has highlighted all of the words now uh, hit on the plus sign let's say i want to look for the digit okay digit at least i should have more than one digit right so exactly i would say uh, at least one or more so if i say at least one or more what would happen here because it's zero even that's a number right let's say i am removing zero so this won't get highlighted so that means tkt anything one or more getting highlighted means these are the proper tickets let's say i want to define it a ticket should be having minimum three digits to more right three to three or more so for that how can i do it there is something called between x and y okay between x and y and i am saying between three okay between three um so between three means three and more it has taken okay let's say i want to define it between three to uh, five are the proper numbers so if i have a ticket which has something like this tkt hyphen one two one two three four five six um seven eight nine so this is not a proper one okay this is not a proper one i need uh, so three to five numbers then i can define it like this okay if i want to select anything th more than three then i can leave it blank so what would happen it is going to select everything okay for example if i write six seven eight nine um something like that so it is selecting more than that three or more it should have minimum three and more so likewise we can define our uh, requirement based on a requirement we can define it and hit on save so the regular exp expression has been saved and then if you look at the matches output okay so here the message box let me drag and drop it below so try all this okay how i am trying just try it once all these activities i don't understand why this is quite slow my studio is absolutely slow now anyways I don't I don't know why it is low. Okay, so matches. Come on, respond. What is the variable that I had used for this one? Matches output right. Okay. 
matches output. So let's see what kind of output I am getting from this. So here um, the regular the uh, the expression that we have. So let's pass some input. Okay. So how do you pass the input through the input string? So in the input string, let's pass some inputs like this: t k t uh, hyphen one two three four five six. Uh, then space let's say t k t hyphen one two three okay so three or more right so then uh, let's write t k t hyphen um one two three four five six seven eight nine um t k t hyphen one and then i'm going to write t k t hyphen zero okay so these are the couple of input that i'm going to pass it now let's uh let me um let me disable the is match because that is not required this i'll run the match one okay the match is one now if i debug this what should be the output matches output so it's going to press you know send you the collection of matches how many matches are there in your string it is going to give you the collection of the matches okay all right so it has uh, system dot link uh, okay because it is a collection of matches i can't use a message box what should i use i should go for a uh, for each loop right so that i can loop through the data so let's do that quickly my studio should run fast for each okay for each then i will say matches output and inside this let's put a message box inside this one drag and drop inside this one and here uh, i should use item right item and uh, for each loop type argument uh, uh, system dot x dot regular expression dot match okay let, let it be let's see so let's run it nowadays it is automatically taking the type argument based on the variable that you have provided that's a good improvement okay so let's see so three or more so this is correct okay very good tkt one two three three or more correct this is also correct three or more okay then last two should not come tkt one and two it has not come getting it so you got the example now i want you to practice the replace one now let me show you a couple of documentation I'm going to share all this so you can simply type is match UI path you will get this document and there are there's a couple of point is match what is the output you get you get a boolean output is there a match or not okay the output the result will be a boolean kind then matches activity the result will be a collection so you have to use a for each loop to get those data then match and replace what this does and there are also examples you can practice these examples uh, match and replacement will replace the world like and uh, like uh, let's say I want to hello world I want to replace world with Rakesh hello Rakesh so all this can be done using the replace activity uh, using the replace expression so try all this out and let me know if you are able to complete this exercise com you know entirely so if you have done it once any question that comes uh, during your exam you should be able to answer it if you have practiced now let's answer this question okay we have read uh, we have learned enough now now we have to answer this question so let's see if we can answer this question so what is this question it is let me brief it okay you can pause this and uh, take your time to read but let me brief it it is telling in a string there are multiple different like this ap3 AP, like like the ticket example i have given like similar way it is there during the testing the developer notices that the ticket ids are correctly identified only if the ticket has exactly two digits only if it is two digits then it is able to correctly identify so what is the exact question for you how should the second line of the expression shown in the graphics be modified to ensure that all valid tickets numbers are identified regardless of how many new tickets are added okay valid ticket so what is happening uh, the ap34 if you look at the image this is not getting selected so as per the question it should also get selected so i should say one or more right so in the drop down which is the right one i should select um at least one or more okay digit slash t at least one or more so this is the right expression is it exactly one uh, exactly three no this is not as per the question okay you have to read the question based on that you should select your answer between x and y times no uh, for this no 
uh, it's saying any, anything is fine right so so that's why the answer would be one or more okay this reading the last sentence is very important that could tweak you might get this let's say you might get the same question but the uh, same graphics and everything let's say and the last sentence will be tweaked a ticket should be uh, minimum 2 to 3 okay minimum 2 and maximum 3 then what you should go for you should go for this one getting it so that is more important your reading is more important and you knowing how it works is more important okay so how should the second line of exception shown in the graphics be modified to ensure that all valid ticket numbers are identified regardless of how many new tickets are added so that means this should be the right answer okay all right uh, so you got it so thank you guys for watching let's move on to our next topic